Hello and welcome to Business as Unusual. Um, I hope that you and your family are all well. My name is Megan from Greater London Properties. Um, for the people that are tuning in fresh today, um, just to give you a little bit of introduction, these are our daily live chats that we're doing at 11.30 every weekday, um, just mainly to connect local central London residents um, to our companies, organisations, um, charities and different movements um, that are going on. Um, and just giving them a platform to expose it a little bit more. Um, today, we've got a very special guest, um, Ollie Coles from Hospitality for Heroes, um, who's doing a really inspirational movement. Hi, Ollie. Hi, I'm Megan. How are you doing? Yes, good, thank you. Um, now, Hospitality for Heroes, for those people that don't know, um, they launched a campaign a few weeks ago. Um, it's a non profit initiative uh, from founders within the industry, and they help to feed our frontline NHS workers. Now, the best thing is as well, there's also healthy quality meals uh, cooked by skilled chefs. Um, just to top it off, they also use fresh products from uh, local suppliers and it's all thanks to donations. So really helping out with the community as well as uh, the frontline staff, which is, is really good. Um, now, at the end of our uh, chat, we are going to be telling you where you can donate um, as well as how you can get your friends involved. Um, so please do tune in um, and stay stay on board um, in order to hear where you can donate um, and the rest. So, um, Ollie, um, thank you so much for joining us here today. Um, it's really great to have you on. My pleasure. Um, it's a really original um, and inspirational movement that you're doing at the moment. What made you want to start the organisation? So before the sort of COVID-19 crisis, I had a digital marketing agency uh, and many of our clients were in the hospitality sector. Um, so almost overnight, we, they sort of paused their retainers with us and asked us how, what they should probably do next. And the obvious answer would have been to go into doing deliveries to your to the local community. Um, and that really just got us thinking, how can we do this on a much larger scale um, and also try and solve a much bigger problem? It was as the uh, news was talking all about nurses being uh, leaving their shifts late and returning to supermarkets that are scarce, scarce of food. Um, so this idea was really, yes, yeah, to try and bring together a, a group of really talented chefs at restaurants, and rather than just giving back to uh, to their to their current customers, to actually feed the NHS. So, in, and as you mentioned in the intro, at the same time, we then um, we then helping keep the suppliers in business. So all of our donations go specifically to that, and that's purchasing fresh produce um, from them. So it's sort of it, the idea evolved, um, and then the the next sort of problem or question or challenge was going to be how do we actually get awareness about this? We're not Damien Lewis or Matt Lucas doing these big campaigns in a hundred grand. Um, so using our digital experience from Levy Coles, we um, we started an Instagram challenge, uh, which asked independent chefs, smaller independent chefs, initially to um, to share a one minute recipe and then nominate three other chefs to do the same. Uh, and that's since gone on to get over 120,000 views. Um, and we've had some pretty decent chefs, like Adam Handling and Marcus Waring, contribute to this campaign. So that's helped us raise uh, just over £30,000 in three weeks. That's amazing. So, so I bet the nurses are just so grateful as well because I remember seeing one of those videos um, where the nurse was just in, in tears because she just couldn't find anything. So it's just it's really, really inspiring. Um, how many deliveries are you doing at the moment, do you find? Uh, so it's ramped up quite quickly. In the first in the first week, we did a few hundred. Um, last week, we did 3,000. And this week, we're doing over 8,000 deliveries to 11 NHS hospitals. Um, and yeah, indeed, certainly the nurses and doctors, the feedback we're getting from them on social media um, has been sort of inspiring and motivating us to really keep going and to try and keep fundraising going. Um, and indeed, the, in some of the charities that we're working with uh, the NHS charities again are coming back saying that this is fast becoming the highlight of some of the workers week just because of the quality of food we're getting so um, yeah 8,000 dishes this week and then hopefully ramping that up um, next week. That's so good that's so good uh, because I've seen some of the I've seen some of the pictures actually and the food looks amazing um, I it's it's these chefs are pulling out some real real showstoppers I can tell you. Yeah. <laughs> 
pissed it through the screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. They, they're getting very creative. Um, we've had some generous donations from uh, from suppliers, including meat and vegetables. So at the beginning of each week, they take a look at what we've got and what we bought for them through donations, and then they just get super creative. And um, yeah, they're delivering restaurant quality meals. So um, I think it's been quite well received, and we, we're, we're looking to kind of retain that standard. Um, yeah. We want to be seen as the people who are providing really healthy, good quality food. Yeah, I think it makes all the difference. Something really to look forward to. Um, how many kitchens do you currently have um, at the moment and where are they? Yeah, we've got nine kitchens working with us at the moment. Um, so some of the chefs that we've got are sort of top chefs, including uh, Sally Abe. She's uh, head chef at Harwood Arm, which is a mission star club. Um, we've got her husband, Matt, who works at restaurant Gordon Ramsay. Um, and then we've got, uh, they're actually working out of a kitchen in Earl's Court together. Um, they're providing food for us, but also to the homeless and the elderly. Um, we have Carousel Restaurants. They're based in Marylebone. Um, they've got a team of volunteers, including their head chefs, Ollie Templeton and Matt Tuttiot. Uh, we have the Lighterman up in King's Cross. Yeah. Um, to one of your offices, yeah. Um, and then we've got a kitchen in uh, Hackney called Karma Cans. They're churning out close to a thousand dishes a day for us. Um, and then uh, N5 in Islington and uh, Rose Ashby, who's the head chef of Spring at Somerset House. Um, I think that's all of them at the moment. But with what we're seeing through Instagram is quite a few chefs and restaurants, not just in London, but across the country saying, look, we would love to help out with this cause. So again, if funds can increase, then we'd like to sort of branch out of London, where I'm sure there's possibly an even bigger need for healthy meals. Um, but yeah, we've been overwhelmed by the, the sort of chefs and restaurants that have come forward to volunteer their time. Well, that's absolutely fantastic. It's great that you've got some such good chefs uh, working alongside you as well and some really great spaces. Um, how did you launch? How did you start off? Yeah, so we launched um, we launched with this Instagram campaign. We a, a friend of ours um, of Levy Coles's a girl called Alex Head, who's a, a bit of a food blogger and a very good cook. Um, she owns a, a small restaurant uh, and catering company called Social Pantry. So she launched the campaign, introducing the initiative. And of course, at that point, we had raised zero pounds and we had no idea really how far it was going to go. And at that point, I remember thinking. I'll be happy if next week we can provide 300 or 500 meals to the NHS. She launched it and um, through Instagram, she was the first post and she nominated three friends. And then they went on to nominate three friends and it escalated to people with, you know, hundreds of thousands of followers, uh, including top chefs um, but, and, and some celebrities and also just the general public at home. So anyone who's watching, if you fancy a challenge, please take a look at our Instagram channel which is at hospitality for heroes and we'd love to see anyone else pick it up um the more we can spread it's our, it's our biggest sort of form of awareness um so yeah it's it's gone it's gone well we've had quite a bit of PR as well which has been helpful um but that's all really been picked up off the back of the instagram challenge that's great i'm already trying to rack my brain to try and think of a recipe that i can share to get my friends involved oh, well, um yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm thinking of the the great chefs that I know in my life um, in order to nominate them, yeah. uh, just to get a variety on there as well. So uh, yeah, it's really great. Cool. Um, what advice would you give to others that feel inspired to do the same as you? Um, I would, I, I think a lot of, I mean, with this, it's been very much about moving as quickly as possible. Um, this idea sort of came to my head before lockdown um, and really at the point of, at the point of fear of lockdown and the fear of restaurant closures so we had to move really quickly um there is quite a lot of there are quite a lot of logistics involved uh, including getting into the nhs charities because it's not a case unfortunately of just making food at home and being able to deliver it to hospitals and say i'd like to donate this they're now not allowing that to happen so i think it's about um as with sort of any business or initiative i guess is, is about planning and, and planning with this situation quite quickly uh, and also just getting some awesome people around you um, with complementary skills who can actually make it happen, be it, you know, the logistics company or someone who can help with fundraising, um, the right public influencers. Um, but yeah, I think I think planning and moving quickly and 
believing in yourself, hoping for the best. That's brilliant. Um, and do you, um, so obviously when, obviously you can't just donate the, the food now to the NHS, like you said, is that because of, they don't know how it's been prepared and social distancing and PPE um, equipment, et cetera. So um, how are your chefs doing it? Are they are they all kind of social distancing and what, what are you following? Yeah, exactly. So um, within the kitchens, we're, we're using some pretty big kitchens and they're having social distance. So because the restaurants are closed, they are, they've moved all the tables aside and they're doing much of the prep work where you or I would usually sit and eat a meal. Um, and then, yeah, we've got to provide them all with the right PPE equip, uh, equipment and kit. Um, and then the same again with the logistics um, and, and delivery companies. Uh, and then obviously yeah, a lot more cleaning within the restaurants. Um, so yeah, NHS provide that meals are individually wrapped um that they are um delivered at a certain time in the early days of this crisis a lot of people were just turning up with you know 20 pizzas uh, and dropping them at a reception and i think at that point there was actually a lot of food going to waste so hospitals now have set up a rota and they've come to initiatives like us and others out there to sort of say look can you deliver us 300 meals at 6 p.m every weekday um so we have our sort of given slots and they know that it's come from a commercial kitchen with a hygiene rating uh, and that the food has been sourced in the right places. And what hospitals um, are you providing for at the moment, just to give a list? Um, off the top of my head, we're doing Hammersmith Hospital, Charing Cross, St Mary's Paddington, um, Royal London, uh, Whips Cross, um, Homerton Hospital, UCLH, um, and I know I'm missing five others. So I can't remember off the top of my head, but they're, that's they're the um, they're the ones. Oh, Chelsea and Westminster is another. That's that's so good. You're just reaching out to so many. If you can, if it ends up even blowing up even more and reaching out to more, which I'm sure that it will. Um, it just I just know that so many NHS workers are going to be so grateful for it. Um, I def I want to taste one, but I don't deserve one. I'm not on the front. <laughs> line, so um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have a look at the recipes and try and do something at home. I think. Yeah, definitely. Um, should be great um so is there if, what are you are you cooking at home at the moment are you trying to take inspiration um are you a little yeah i got asked this yesterday by the, by the telegraph um i i should be but there are two minor problems one i can't really cook um my wife is a fantastic cook uh and two this initiative is taking up sort of a lot of hours of my day um but i do occasionally get the time to look through some of the videos that have been submitted um, but I have to be honest, no, I'm not spending a lot of time in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and um, was it was it just uh, yourself? So you, I saw on the on the website that there's uh, founders of like a few other companies as well. So did you know these people before? Um, yeah, yeah. So I've I've sort of brought those people together. Um, they're people that are either clients or friends of mine, and they are sort of entrepreneurs, I guess, who started their own businesses. Um, and like I said, uh, they sort of all have complementary skills. So we've got a guy who's very good at sort of in the charity space. We've got a good social media person. Um, we've got a very technical guy who makes sure that all of the payments and the security is all secure. Um, and and then a, a, a good friend of mine called Amelia Wicks came forward uh, and said, look, I've, I've got free time. I'd like to help out with this. So, and she's sort of very high up and, and experienced in partnerships and, and fundraising um so yeah, a lot of people have come forward and, and not just the guys on the website but also people getting in touch with the restaurants that are working with us saying i'd love to come and just help out and clean dishes and do whatever i can chop vegetables um and i think on sort of one day there are probably a total of about 50 people working on this initiative in the kitchens in deliveries um and behind the scenes so it's uh it's it's been phenomenal the number of people that have come forward to, to offer their time and you know none of us are making a penny from it but hopefully making a bit of a difference for those nhs workers yeah i think it's just overwhelming how much everyone wants to help each other at the moment yeah. uh, but it's also great how you've got all of those fantastic people that surround you that's why uh, <laughs> right. they always say it's of 10 surround yourself by 10 great people <laughs> Um, so yeah it's really good um thank you so much for joining us today um just to reiterate guys um on the uh, they've got a website uh, where you can donate um 
If you go to hospitalityforheroes.com, uh, it's very clear on the website where you can donate. You can read a little bit more about the initiative itself. Um, and also, let's get involved on Instagram. Let's get our friends involved. Um, Instagram is at Hospitality for Heroes. Um, there's instructions on the website on how you can do this. Um, so it's basically how you um, you create a recipe. Uh, well, you share a recipe. You don't well, can create one. Uh, it's just under a minute. Um, share it, nominate, donate, um, get the movement going. Um, just because we want as much as much, many donations as possible to help this keep going. Because our NHS staff they need this right now, and it's like Ollie said, it's something that they look forward to. So it'd be great for us all to support it. Um, thank you again so much, Ollie, for joining us on here. Yeah, thank, been, you guys. thank you so much, Megan, for asking us to come on. And it's been so wonderful speaking to you and hearing about it. It's really inspiring. And it's such an original idea. Um, it's fantastic. It's what everybody needs at the moment. Um, so thank you again. <laughs> um, and uh, yes, so yeah, don't forget to visit the website, donate and get involved. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye-bye.